Of all the many claims based on dubious statistics that have sustained the whole COVID narrative, none have been as widely accepted as the claim that the vaccines stop people becoming seriously ill and dying of COVID. This is the claim that continues to sustain the entire vaccine programme. And this is the claim that scared people who were at no risk or harm from COVID to get injected and also demonised the unvaccinated. It's also the claim that has led apparently intelligent people to reject all logic and reason to come up with the often stated mantra like this that, you know, I've got COVID, feeling really bad, thank God I had my three or four doses and boosters, otherwise would have, things would have been much worse. But the claim was always based on deliberately murky record keeping, some new examples of which I'll show you in this short video. And it's all just another statistical illusion of efficacy that was manufactured by simple miscategorization. By late 2021, it was already clear that the COVID vaccines didn't stop infection or transmission. And you can see the higher rate of COVID cases in each of these age categories there, October 2021. And they're already also, plenty of concerning safety signals, some of which were even reported in the mainstream media, and these reports here were all between February and December 2021. And so even though the vaccine pass was already required in the UK to participate in daily life, there was already increasing vaccine hesitancy. And this meant that in order to continue to push the vaccine programme, the official messaging was changed from vaccine stop you getting COVID to vaccines stop you being hospitalised and dying from COVID. Now to push this narrative, the government started pumping out data, attempting to support the claim that almost all of those ill in hospital with COVID were unvaccinated. Here's an NHS text that was sent to everybody eligible for vaccination who was registered with a GP in the UK in November 2021. It says that 8 out of 10 patients ill in hospital with COVID aren't fully vaccinated. But the vast majority of those vaccinated were not fully vaccinated. In fact, at the time the text was sent out, fully vaccinated in the UK was defined as at least 14 days since the third jab, or between at least 14 days and less than six months of the second jab. So the official figure of eight out of 10 not fully vaccinated might have been right, but it was totally misleading because almost all of those who were vaccinated, i.e. who'd had at least one jab at that time, were not fully vaccinated. And this creates a false semantic equivalence between unvaccinated and not fully vaccinated. Many media sources, including the BBC, pushed the 80% unvaccinated claim without even mentioning the fully vaccinated criteria. And similar claims were made about COVID deaths among the vaccinated. With respect to patients in ICU, claims that high proportions of those with COVID were unvaccinated were also widely cited and never challenged in the mainstream media. Many ludicrous, unverifiable claims were pushed as facts, including some of which were subsequently revealed in the ridiculous BBC documentary, Unvaccinated. Now, I made a formal complaint against the BBC for many of the errors in the programme, but a particularly serious example was this one, that's especially pertinent to this discussion. It was in a dramatic interview with Dr. Mahul Patel, who's a consultant at the University Hospital Lewisham, and his statement, unchallenged in the programme, was that between December 2021 and January 2022, 20 out of 21 COVID patients admitted to ICU, as 95%, were unvaccinated, and 100% of those who died were unvaccinated. When I finally got a response from the BBC five months after the original complaint, the complaint editor Jeremy Hayes said, you maintain that the claim was either false, exaggerated or an unbelievable outlier. I've approached the program makers for information about the data which were quoted by Dr. Patel. I've been advised that the figures were compiled by Dr. Patel himself for the purposes of research. Lewisham and Greenwich Hospital Trust does not record the vaccination status of patients in ICU, so Dr. Patel's figures cannot be independently verified. And yet this claim was made unchallenged. But the scam was based on something even more ludicrous than classifying not fully vaccinated as unvaccinated. 
As a result of freedom of information requests that we sent to some individual NHS trusts and hospitals, we know that patients for whom there was no vaccination record within the trust or hospital system were usually classified as unvaccinated. And this meant that in many cases, even if a patient had a vaccination record in the National Immunology Management System, that's NIMS, if the patient wasn't vaccinated in that particular hospital or trust, they were recorded as unvaccinated. Moreover, for those relying on NIMS, since NIMS wasn't operational until June 2021, all hospitalizations, ICU stays and deaths within the hospital were recorded as unvaccinated between January to June 2021. Now to see the implications of this, I'll now show the data on hospital deaths, that's all deaths, not just COVID deaths, from the start of the vaccine program, January 2021, until the end of 2021, from an undisclosed NHS trust who responded to an FOI request. Note that every death up until the 21st of June 2021 was recorded as unvaccinated, simply because the trust was mainly using NIM system, which wasn't up and running until then. But of course, an unknown number, probably most of these 742 people, were vaccinated. Now, there are plenty of other anomalies in the data. Note the steady decline in unvaccinated from the 21st of June until the 13th of September, by which time only 4 out of 46, i.e. less than 9%, were unvaccinated, which suddenly and dramatically changed the following week, before again declining to the end of the year. By which time, zero, none out of the 53 deaths were unvaccinated. Now such changes can only be the result of changes in definition of who should be classified as unvaccinated. In fact, using the data in the table up to and including the 18th of October 2021, which corresponds approximately to when the government campaign of highlighting unvaccinated hospitalizations started, we would conclude that 74% of all hospital deaths in the year up to that point were in the unvaccinated because there were in here that counts to 1,051 unvaccinated, including the 17 with just a single jab and just 370 who were vaccinated with two jabs. Yet in the final three weeks, either the three weeks of December here, just 18 out of the 144 deaths in total, i.e. just 12.5%, were unvaccinated. Very different story. It's also worth noting that the same NHS Trust provided this information on new COVID positives in the Trust hospitals between the 19th of January 2021 and the 19th of January 2022. Given what we know from the death data, we can be sure the majority of those classified as unvaccinated here with the exception of those in the 0 to 20 age categories, would have been vaccinated. So instead of the approximately 50% of the total of new COVID cases being among the unvaccinated, as would be the official narrative on this data, the true narrative is that the vast majority of new COVID cases amongst those eligible for the vaccine were vaccinated. Now, why does this matter? Well, it matters a lot because despite being completely bogus, these kinds of ludicrous figures were so consistently repeated that the message vaccines stop you being hospitalized and dying from COVID, even if they don't stop infection and transmission, was almost universally accepted. Even the strongest critics of the government's response consistently repeated this mantra. And the figures were also used as the basis for the bogus studies claiming millions of lives were saved by the vaccine. So yet again, you can see that statistical data was used to create an illusion of vaccine hospitalization and mortality efficacy by the simplest of means, deliberately murky record keeping, ensuring that the vaccinated get recategorized as unvaccinated when they die or are hospitalized.